The following question reads that uh, the amount of calcium ions in a sample of natural water can be determined by using an ion exchange chamber as shown in the diagram. So there's a sample of water that is being passed through an ion exchange raisin. Uh, we're not sure what that is. So let's read the question further. A 50 cm cube sample of water containing dissolved calcium sulfate was passed through the ion exchange raisin. So what's passing, uh, there's a 50 cm cube sample of water and it's containing dissolved calcium sulfate. So it's basically the volume of water is given, it's 50 cm cube. And what does it contain? It contains uh, CaSO4 or calcium sulfate. And the question uh, further reads, this, this sample of water containing all of this is passed through the ion exchange raisin. It then further states that each calcium ion in the sample was exchanged for two hydrogen ions. The resulting acid, uh, so each calcium ion in the sample was exchanged for two hydrogen ions. So what happens is that the ion exchange chambers, uh, chamber, CSO4, is replacing the calcium ion with two hydrogen ions. If you replace it with two hydrogen ions, you get H2SO4. So that is your resulting acidic solution. So each calcium ion, if you had one calcium ion, that one calcium ion got replaced with two hydrogen ions to give you H2SO4. So remember the mole ratio. Uh, one calcium sulfate got converted into one sulfuric acid molecule. And this is H2SO4. Uh, this is the resulting solution. The volume of this solution is also going to be 50 centimeter cube. And then the question reads that the resulting acidic solution was collected in the flask required 25 cm cube of 1.2 mole per decimeter cube of potassium hydroxide. So this sulfuric acid is collected in the flask. So you have uh, 50 cm cube of sulfuric acid, 50 cm cube of sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. And that is then collected. And that is then collected. This H2SO4 is then reacted with 25 cm cube of 1.5 mole, uh, 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 mole per decimeter cube of potassium hydroxide. So you're reacting this H2SO4 with KOH, potassium hydroxide, and the volume of KOH is given, that's 25 centimeter cube. And you're also given the concentration of KOH, which is given as 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 mole per decimeter cube. So you know the concentration, you know the volume. So when H2SO4 react with KOH, they're going to produce uh, K2SO4. That's your product plus a water molecule. It's a neutralization reaction. A water molecule would be produced. I need to balance this equation. If I try to balance this equation, there would be two KOH molecules and two water molecules in the equation. So now it, we have a balanced equation. The question then wants us to calculate what was the concentration of the calcium sulfate in the original sample. So we need to find the concentration of calcium sulfate whose volume we already know. We, know, we need to find the concentration of calcium sulfate based on the information that has been provided to us. So the first thing I'm going to do now is uh, I have the volume and the concentration of KOH, so I'm going to try and find the moles of KOH. So if I try to find the moles of KOH, moles would be concentration multiplied by volume, which in this case is going to be, it's going to be, uh, the concentration is 1 into 10 to the power minus 2, multiplied by the volume, which should be in dm cube, so it's going to be 25 cm cube divided by 1000. And the answer I get, the moles of KOH that I get is going to, are going to be point, uh, they're going to be 0 0.0025 0, 0, moles. So that's that's the amount of KOH that we are using. And if you look at the equation, uh, you would see that the ratio of KOH to H2SO4 is 2 ratio 1. So 2 KOH react with 1 H2SO4. So the amount of H2SO4 according to this ratio is going to be half this quantity. The moles of uh, K, uh, KOH are 0.025 moles, so the moles of H2SO4 are going to be half that amount because it's 2 ratio 1. And those moles come out to be, if you divide this quantity by 2, the amount of moles of H2SO4 come out to be 0 0.000125 moles. So that's the amount of moles of h 2 SO4 
that were present in this flask over here. Now, previously, we had discussed, we found the moles of H2SO4. We had discussed that one calcium sulfate was uh, changing into one H2SO4 because this ion exchange chamber was replacing those calcium ions but with two hydrogen ions. So one CSO4 got changed into one H2SO4. So the amount of moles of calcium sulfate and the amount of moles of H2SO4 are going to be exactly the same. We have calculated the moles of H2SO4 which are 0 0.00125 moles. So the amount of moles of calcium sulfate are also going to be exactly the same. So the moles of calcium sulfate are going to be 0 0.00125 moles as well. And now we have, uh, we already had the volume of uh, CSO4 which was 50 cm cube. Now we also have the moles of CSO4 which are 0 0.00125 moles. The last step is to find the concentration. The concentration, apply the formula for concentration which is moles, which in this case are 0 0.00125 moles divided by the volume which in this case is 50 cm cube but that, but that should be in dm cube so I'm going to divide that by 1000 so concentration is moles over volume and solving this the answer that I get is going to be 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles which is going to give me option A as being the correct option.